this, everybody. I know I'm not the only one who's lived through this. How do I find them? I just kind of started looking for people. I was like, I'm just gonna ask them to tell me their story and then I'm gonna make a portrait after. The only thing I tell them is look into my lens when I make the portrait. Just look at me so that it feels like the person looking at your picture can look into your eyes after they've read your story. I got in contact with Desiree. I was like, hey, like, you know, I'm, I'm someone who fits your criteria of a suicide survivor. Um, let's do this. She said, it's going to be public, open. We use your full name. And I was like, great, because this is who I am. We met up. We were actually in the park where, where I, I, you know, attempted suicide. So that, that, that was like, she was like, whoa. And I'm like, yeah, it was that tree over there. And she was like, oh, all right, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah, no, like this was a thing that happened and I'm better now because of it. You know, so like that was like, I think the first time I got to articulate that. And that was cool to be like, yeah, it was here and I'm still here and I'm still here. Part of my mission is to show people that this does happen more often than we think it does and that we're not immune to it, that suicide does not discriminate there are people dying every day. And one of those people could be someone you love. So let's do something about it. Let's change it. Even talking about suicide now is incredibly nerve wracking and it sucks, but I am so zen with this. And if you're going through the same thing, it sucks. And I feel you, but talk about it. Live, stay.